Gotta go pick up Nick. His flight just landed. So I gotta jump in our Uber. <laughs> Water Uber. Well, sorry guys, I failed to film <laughs> picking up Nick. But, he's here. He's not feeling so good because we had to move anchorages and the wind's out of the west. And it's pretty rocky, so it's something hard to get used to. But I think we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the night, maybe have some hamburgers and call it a night. You about ready, lovey? No. I'm excited to go home, but I'm sad to leave you. <laughs> Me too. Today's the day, Brandy's going back to Florida. So it's just gonna be me and Nick. <laughs> Hanging out. Nick's been watching me edit for the past two days. <laughs> so I'm finally done. We're gonna take this time to go out to one of these reefs around Water Island and do a little snorkeling, free diving. Hopefully we can maybe catch some dinner. Nick and I had to make a quick stop to help a friend of a friend. He uh, He's away off island and he's got people just kind of looking after his boat while he's gone. He hasn't able to come back because of COVID. So um, we're available and uh, we said we'd help him out, but we're just basically checking the batteries, gonna run the engine for a little bit and make sure everything's okay. That's one great thing that's awesome about this sailing community is everybody helps everybody out. So just paying it forward. I wonder if I check the batteries. Looks like they're running to the bed. Nick, can you give me the multimeter? It's in my backpack. Thanks, sir. Well, sir. It's hot in here. Yeah. Update. Batteries shot. Motor won't start. Yeah, it seems like the batteries are dead, so I don't think we're gonna be able to start it. But at least it's still here. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to help him out too much.
check out this little spot here. That was a cool little reef. It was. How'd you like free diving? It was fun. Yeah. yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I uh when I when I finally calmed down and started like breathing normally. Yeah. And then like, you know, re remembering that I could just kick slowly, like that was the part that made it more fun. Right, more enjoyable. Yeah, and then I had to calm down the monkey brain that was like, there's a shark behind you. <laughs> There's something below you that's gonna eat you. So it was, it was cool. It yeah. was really fun. And there was purple coral and feather dusters, angelfish, damn fish. Fish I've only seen in tanks. So it was cool to see those fish. Really cool. After a couple more relaxing days with Nick, it was time to bring him back to the airport. So my sister lives on a lake, which has been really nice. So I haven't been too far away from the water, but my hair feels amazing. <laughs> and I know that it seems like it's something that's so minute to go get my hair done, but I haven't had a haircut in three years. So it feels good to actually have it professionally done and not just me, you know, chopping away. We've got three more weeks until I get to see Bo again. I'm really excited to see him. I know that his brother just left and we are still having our time apart, which I know he has some work to do, but it's been really nice to be able to catch up with my sister and my nieces and my nephews. And I still have a ton of people to see. So I'm glad that we have, I have had some extra time uh, while I've been here in Florida, but. The water here is gorgeous. I'm in honeymoon off a of water island and now that Nick's gone, I am all by myself. So, I've got a ton of stuff to do. Not really sure where to start, but a ton of boat projects. So, it may look like Brandy is having the time of her life, but in reality, she's been staying up super late at night in order to design more merchandise for you guys. So, if you're interested in checking it out, there's a link below to our website with all the merch. Back to the show. First things first, since Brandy is gone, now I have a chance to get some boat chores done, leave a mess, and keep it a mess until she gets back. <laughs> Cause that's pretty much what I do. I uh, start projects and then I don't finish them, start other projects, and you get the point. I need to get some more bolts for these new winches to get them installed. 
We bought these winches for about 550 bucks. They are a little rough. Uh, they need a little TLC, so I gotta clean them. But they didn't come with all the hardware. They don't have exactly what I need, but do what you can with what you got. Sometimes it's hit or miss on picking up hardware. So we got a pretty good deal on these guys. It's the Harkin 44. Don't mind that. <laughs> they need to be re-greased, cleaned, just because they look like they haven't been touched or serviced in a very long time. So I'm gonna go through the steps of doing that today. Here are a few things that will help make this job easier. A cleaning bucket, some gloves, some pliers, a very large flathead, Allen key set, brush, WD-40 or whatever brand you wanna use, and some rags. Oh, and don't forget the oil and grease. When I bought this set, it wasn't really a set. I kinda put it together because it was at a secondhand shop. One of them is just a regular two-speed winch, and the other one is a power head, which means you can hook up a motor to it and wire it electrically and be able to use it as an electric winch. Unfortunately, we don't have the motor, so we're just gonna use it as a regular winch. Had to somewhat pick up for you guys. It's a bachelor pad in here. <laughs> don't look over there. It's a complete disaster. I've already taken this guy apart somewhat just to get to the internal guts. You got to take out this little screw from the top. This little cone piece is actually in here and you have to turn it sideways and take your pliers to then pull it out. I took it out because it's all grungy and nasty and I wanna clean it. You don't necessarily have to do it, but I'm going to. Once you get that screw out, this little column of sleeve comes out. When you get this guy out, there's a little fancy sleeve here. Once this guy is off, then you can undo four Allen screws in here. This guy will be released. It's pretty dirty. With the cap off, then your housing is free to be pulled up. And be careful taking off the housing because the bearings will wanna stay with it, like this guy. You can just kinda twist it out. As you can see, these bearings need to be cleaned and re-greased. Just pay attention to how everything's laid out and assembled, because you're gonna need to put it back together and you want it to work when you put it back together. I've taken, I've stripped down so many things in the past without noting where everything went and got myself into trouble. Now that we're at the base, you just got a few more bolts to take out and then you can get access to all of your gears. As you can see, this thing has seen better days. Hopefully the teeth are intact. I haven't checked them yet. Looks like we're gonna, we're in good shape. A little wear and tear, but Actually, it all looks pretty good. Just so Brandy doesn't kill me, I laid down this cloth just to keep things a little neater, nicer. I have a tendency of making messes, as you can see. Just to find one little tool, it's so easy to make a mess in this boat. Man. 
impact force. Hell of a thing. Not always recommended though. Jeez, this thing is so dirty. The dirt is holding it in place. Maybe a little WD-40 will help. I guess that would have been helpful if I had sprayed this down in the beginning just to let it soak and get in the crevices and stuff. I'll do that on the next one. Just be mindful where you're putting metal tools. You don't want to scratch any of these bearing surfaces. I guess if you do, it's not the end of the world, but try not to. That's what I'm telling myself at least. <laughs> so I guess there's no need to take out these Allen screws. Looks like it's just these two pieces meet, but I can probably get in there with a toothbrush. Another helpful hint, I went on Harkin website and downloaded the parts list and the manual and it gives you an exploded view of the winch. So it's a good reference point if you misplace something or you just want to double check to see how everything goes together. These little springs are a pain in the butt for these poles. So you kind of have to get them out of their groove and then um, push up on the paw and get it out of that groove so you can then slide it out. But when you slide it out, just be careful not to let it go flying. Also, pay attention to how they go back in. Well, this is going to take a lot longer than I had planned. Of course, everything does on a boat, right? So I'm going to get this guy and the other one cleaned up and I'll continue again tomorrow. So every night I've been lo leading a very small yoga class for the nighttime. I'm not a professional, but as far as they know, I am. but it's been awesome. We've just been doing a nice little flow and it's just become a routine. Oh, yeah. Sounds like I have a pretty full class tonight. <laughs> you guys ready? Oh, we need to do it, yes! yes we're, ready, we're, ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready! We are ready! I feel like I'm missing members. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Get it together, Loki. All right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning guys. Been here so long in this anchorage that the seagulls figured out that we have a nice platform on our solar panels for them to hang out. So they've been doing just that, hanging out with me. They keep me from being lonely, you know. Last night I was able to get into the other winch 
And it actually looks really good, way better than the first one. It looks like it, it's actually been serviced recently. I just added a little more grease to the gears and a little oil. The biggest difference between the regular winch and the power head is this guy. This little gear right here attaches to the motor. And there is this rod. So this actually goes into the center piece. It goes down in here. And the rod actually comes out right here. You'll never guess who I just found. Came all the way to Florida for this. Wait for it. Big thanks to my mom for letting me borrow her car. back stay is pretty much bottomed out I need to shorten it I do have the wedges that stay lock recommends you replace if you are gonna reuse your fittings which is what I'm gonna do I had to use my blowtorch which isn't working properly to uh, heat up so the 5200 on there would um, let go of the fitting itself and separate it from the wire which didn't go too bad this is the old wedge it actually looks pretty good shape but I got a new one now it's just a matter of separating the outer wires from the inner and sliding this guy over then putting on more 5200 and sealing it all back up Super excited about tomorrow. Brandy gets in. And I did pretty good. I got two out of the three things on my list done. But I'm not going to get to the chain plates because this place is a disaster area I am the messy one brandy is the the clean one so it definitely shows when she's not around hope you guys enjoyed that episode if you did give it a thumbs up big shout out to our patrons thank you guys so much you guys help us tremendously see you next Sunday <laughs>